all night, utterly clueless. I wonder who is Camila. Well, this needs explaining. My memory run is not swift and true like they used to be as a keen young man. Mm -hmm. No, I love naps. Yeah. And in fact, my memory runners over the decades, they've designed a cushy uh, halfway uh, lounge for themselves uh, with the sofas padded from my uh, synapse, uh, synapted, uh, <clears throat> executed by them, brain cells, uh, halfway between my request for uh, memories, frontal brain, there they go, who is Camilo, down the ill-lit and decaying <coughs> subterranean cavern filled with my uh, old memory, pile drawers, yeah. My memory runners must struggle with the the rusted up drawers, the crusty old things, um, to access the information that I have arrogantly requested uh, uh, on, on the on the lounge wall. Uh, they have uh, these loafers. Uh, have exhibited their graffiti skills by uh, spray painting um, memory sucks, S-U-X, huge shattered letters, yeah. So when the name Camilo comes trailing down the corridor towards them uh, and wake, wakes up my memory runners from their halfway lounge, you know, uh, my cunning memory runners, they pretend they're still asleep. They figure if they play dead long enough, some random external uh, clue will spare them from having to put on their running shoes. Well, luckily for them, uh, Camilo comes to me in a dream. Causes me to lurch up in bed, mumbling, hey, yeah, that going guy who lent me his typewriter. Oh, uh, yeah, keyword typewriter. Mm. That unleashes a, a, a tsunami of images. My memory numbers almost drowned from the flood of nostalgia. That runs wild through that halfway lounge now, huh? You know. Camilo! Still alive. <laughs> Though it gets light out, uh, I'm eager to track down my old friend, but I can't remember where his house is. It's been 35 years, huh? Well, fortunately, I bump into Xavier. <laughs> See, her look. See that goat track behind my house? <laughs> you just follow it. I mean, Camilo's never moved. I mean, I remember, well, this kind human being. I mean, he welcomed me into his house anytime I wanted, in the afternoons, uh, to use his typewriter. And I you know, stare blissfully out his windows, oh, the shimmering Arabian Sea, to the date palms. Yeah. Oh. Uh, gentle music in the background. Mm -hmm. The surf. The sounds of the surf. You can hear it right now. Uh, and uh, Kahuna Cove. All these things are triggering off uh, memories. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, memory runners. Okay, what, what was going on? Oh, yeah, I wrote Earth Freaks, uh, the coming of the Earth people in Goa. I was just 24 at the time, and uh, my memoir about my hippie fun in Southeast Asia and India. Oh, yeah. I wrote the, the whole story in five days. Uh, 
in longhand in a stack of like school kids' copy books. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like two feet tall. Just kept going through those. Uh, wrote the whole book in longhand. Five days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fueled by amphetamines and uh, hashish and coffee. Yeah. Tell it like it is. Uh. Well, um, yeah, and that's, you know, my neighbor Camila welcomed me <laughs> to type this out, the handwritten manuscript. So I followed the sandy path behind Xavier's. Snoop around. Oh, uh, these houses seem so much larger than I remember. Oh, uh, well, who's over there? Uh, shady, uh, uh, shady trees. I see an old man with a cane. Oh, I recognize Camilo. <laughs> he recognizes me at once. <sighs> Human kindness abounds. Yeah, my old friend. He's he's seventy six now and diabetes, swollen legs. It's got to make use of a walking cane, yeah. And why didn't I recognize his house? Because he's built on so many extra rooms for his grandchildren <laughs> and children. Wow. Uh, Camilo brings out the typewriter. The same old Remington I pecked on. Well, so now it's like 35 years ago. And uh, Camilla says, probably, we still use it. Uh, the typewriter is never broken or needed even a minor repair. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, I'm getting, uh, like, uh, goosebumps now. Like, the very room I'm standing in now, almost four decades before I created the three original Copies, we use carbon paper. I mean, dinosaur paper is to get three copies uh, at once. Packing away, yeah. And I still got one. Had them hardbound in uh, Mopsa. I still got one in my uh, treasure chest back in California. <laughs> that survived. Uh. Well, I tell Camila, never. Hello, I'm just saying, sell this miraculous machine. No. He must give this classic Remington to his grandchildren. <laughs> because after I'm cremated here in Go, <clears throat> uh, and my world-renowned books actually used to start the cremation fire, yeah, slush pile there, huh? Dry it out. Uh, good for burning me up. Uh, this this typewriter will be priceless. <laughs> Camila smiles mischievously. He promises. I love God. Well, in his front yard, I photograph Camilo hoping, holding up the second printing of Earth Freaks. <laughs> and look, the guy had faith in me years ago. Idealistic 24-year-old, and now come back, 61-year-old. <sighs> Sentimental bliss to complete this cycle of humankind. <laughs> Eddie is alive. Camilo is alive. And uh, my old Remington is still packing.